I'm Mindy and uh, I'm a graphic designer and currently I'm freelancing so I'm involved in different projects and, and locations because I, I kind of like that kind of lifestyle yeah, I think it's mostly because of my ADHD, so <laughs> I, I don't like to be stuck in a, in a routine or anything. So yeah, that's why also why I studied at the Art Academy. Uh, right before the pandemic started, I really want to do an... I was still studying in my third year and I want to do an internship in China. And so I had everything ready. I was really excited about it. and. Because my parents are Chinese, so I've always like wondered how it'd be to live between people, you know, that you're that you appearance-wise look familiar, you know, with. Uh, so yeah, that's something I really want to see for myself, and so I was really excited about that. But that didn't happen. I, I lost a lot of motivation in that moment. And uh, with my ADHD, uh, with the routine completely gone, like it was like my world was flipped upside down. I, I couldn't sleep like at proper times. I, I, it, it was especially hard when I, I tried to tell my teachers about this, about my difficulties, and they just kind of like <laughs> skipped it aside and didn't see it as, as a problem. It's like, why? Why don't you just function normally? <laughs> so I guess the, the one thing that was really positive during the pandemic that kind of, you know, kept me uh, distracted a bit was like, so I wanted to go to China and then I was on Reddit. <laughs> I don't know if you know it, but mm -hmm. uh, I was asking around uh, for questions, how to do uh, yeah, visa, for example, like that kind of stuff. And then like I started to talk more with uh, this individual because he was the only one that like uh, answered my questions properly. I, I didn't know, but there is like a lot of hate on China on Reddit. So this was the only normal person <laughs> for me. And then, yeah, we started chatting and because I couldn't sleep at that time and I didn't want to bother anyone, but the only person that I kind of knew that was still awake was on the other side of the world <laughs> so i started to talk uh, with him yeah and i guess i developed feelings <laughs> i actually hadn't planned like uh, to wait that long we kind of confirmed each other's feeling in july 2020 and then in uh, we said okay we'll meet in december then Covid is probably gone, should be gone, but it wasn't. <laughs> so then we kept pushing and pushing and after that eventually we met actually just last December. So <laughs> for the first time here in the Netherlands and it was really strange because <laughs> I was immediately so familiar with this person that I've been talking to for so long. I've never been like in a relationship or in love like this so i guess i didn't really know what love is because i had crushes before but it's not that's not really love and so it was really strange because i'm quite shy and sometimes i find people quite uh scary <laughs> in a way like i don't know how to approach them but with him it was everything was so natural and it was so com familiar and comforting and so yeah, to discover that someone just likes you for being you, you know, and that's just enough. Oh, this is a project I did with my collective, and so it was a bit outside school, but I wanted it like beside my documentary, and I really wanted like this project to be uh, to be shown even though it's not really like part of it but i thought it's really important to emphasize what a community can or someone you know people that understand it and relates to you what it can do and and help you like the motivation because sometimes you know being in positions like this it can feel quite lonely like especially um within school i felt quite lonely yeah, I felt like there was no one that really understood it and, and supported me through it. That's why I, I kept hanging on that I'm 
it doesn't matter, I'm gonna show this project because eventually they didn't, they didn't even ask for it anymore. But I just showed it at my graduation exhibition anyways. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I, I just want to tell them that outside of just telling your own story, it's also like, very important to uh, build to have your own community or people you can fall back onto and uh, tell your story with together. Because it's not, it's not just one story, it's always multiple stories. Yeah, so eventually we were left with uh, still some, some cards and we were thinking like where to, to bring this kind of product to, so we would be interested in, in reading these kind of things. So yeah, that's why we, uh, we found Print Room. And I also started to volunteer because I just love the space here. And uh, yeah, I felt like it's really nice to have that our own zine, our own story, like within this big collection of uh, other stories and other publications. During the pandemic, I fell in love. My name is Mandy, and this is my story.